smile on her face at the moment. I'll then. say, yeah. I wonder if she's seen those pictures, because she's oh, sure. out in the wilds of Italy. She must have done yes. this. Bit. Anyway, joining us now, utterly smitten by Mirren, broadcasters Vanessa Feltz uh, and Larry Turner, and Amanda Platel, also a broadcaster, I think, um, from, the, from the Daily Mail. Well, this is really... Here, here I, I'm the only guy here with, with four <laughs> women, um, because Lucky we realised this morning that actually it's women who are really are celebrating this photograph, far, far more than men who, of course, ogle it and leer and say, oh, yeah, she's fit, yeah, I would, and all that. But it's women who are really jumping up and down and celebrating. Why do you think that is, Amanda? She just looks fantastic. And I suppose most of us sort of imagine that there's like a kind of bikini watershed in your life. <laughs> and for someone like me, that came at about 22. <laughs> but for most women, it sort of comes in their 40s. <laughs> where you think you can just hang up the old bikini and you don't have to worry and that there won't be any examples out there to make you um, think otherwise. And she just breaks all the rules, doesn't she? Well, I, do you know what I think comes... I mean, she looks fantastic. I mean, she obviously goes to the gym. I mean, let's not yeah. deceive ourselves. She hasn't had any children, has she? She hasn't That's had any children. That's a very good no, point. I mean, I've probably had three. I looked at that picture and thought, wow. And the first question was, has she had... Because, you know, that is a body of woman who's... And she's never yo-yoed either in her weight. She's always stayed slim, hasn't she? Yeah. So she looked amazing. And it was fantastic to see a picture of a woman of that age, not airbrushed, a real woman. But, but she also is very... Very good for a real woman. She mm. looks fantastic, but what we're all celebrating really is that she looks real. She looks yes. human. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the brilliant yeah. thing. She yeah. looks like an actual person. It's not that I've ever looked anything like that, even before I had children. <laughs> I never looked anything like that, if I'm being completely honest. But the idea is you sort of could look like that, you yeah. think. She looks kind of within aspirations, because yeah. she hasn't had her boobs done. They look kind of normal, slightly less aloft than they were before. And yeah. her thighs are round, but gorgeous. Well, let's she's, take a she's staggering. Let's really. take a more lingering <laughs> look um, of, this, of this famous picture. Here we are. Wow. Okay, so what well, I mean, you tell me, your, your ladies, I mean, in terms of exercise, let's hold that shot, guys, while we talk about it. What she had done, do you think, in terms of exercise? Oh, exercise. She's sit ups, oh, sit -ups. Sit -ups. Sit -ups. Yes. sit ups and sit ups and look at and her sit -ups. Um, look at definition. Her yeah. She's kept her weight down, hasn't yeah, she? She's, yeah. and she's obviously got, she's got, got a serious jeans. program there. But you know the thing that. Just hold one second, but there are no, what the, I know you ladies call them bat wings. Yeah. No, not no. a trace of a bat wing. No, no, no there probably is another angle. I mean, she's, she's not a mi human mirror. She's 62. And also, she is holding her leg. I'm going to. And always stand like that. Well. <laughs> that leg's <laughs> good. Hold do that thing with the yeah. thigh because that's <laughs> really a good look. And is that does you that bra have super? Do it, <laughs> is that, does that bikini bra have a super structure in it? Well, it's got. It's wired, it, isn't it? It's it, it's a it's a well cut top and I mean yeah. and that's another nice thing I mean she doesn't look like she's got a pair of sort of silicone no. perfectly no, no, balanced no, no. Bob she looks like she's got a proper womanly bosom I, mean, I do think if you took that bra off you would say timber <laughs> <laughs> but you would because you would wouldn't you because you know, they are slightly hoiked no, up I think if, I think as most, most of us do, I, we I think have if most to blokes them. took that bra off they wouldn't be saying timber <laughs> <laughs> I really don't think that would be the word that I would leave my, their my other half's only 36 <laughs> yeah. and I said would you he said not half and he said he mentioned it to one of his mates and he said and he said he said would you she's 64 and the mate said 62 and yes Ah, well, everybody yes. knows 62 and yes. Next week. Is she? Everybody. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But I wrote about it on Saturday in, yes. in my column, the Daily Mail, and there was this, and I've got this, this complete, um, huge number of, of really offensive emails because really? people thought that I was being unkind about her, and I was just saying, you know, basically what she's doing, she's opened the floodgates for every um, granny who wants to wear a bikini, <laughs> and I did mean it affectionately. And all these women saying, I'm a granny, I'm eight stone six, I look good, well, you it's know, I'm clear 68. Now. All right, we're, 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 we're keep well, should we see what the well, great British public thinks? Oh, about yeah. it yeah, okay, before yeah. we go on, which also gives us a chance to see that picture again. <laughs> What's interesting is, you know, I haven't heard any woman in a conversation, and these conversations have been happening all over the country, any woman in the presence of her husband who's basically said, fwa, mm. in whatever way, look, look crossly at him. I mean, no, you feel like go on, my son. Yes. Yeah, you just yes. feel very pleased that they would. She's oh, one I, of, I feel like she's one of us somehow because yeah. she's not been surgically enhanced. Well, yeah. because, and also because we've seen, you know, this whole size zero thing of the, the sort of the standard girl in a bikini at the moment is like, like that exclamation mark thing with sort of the, the, the silicone boobs yeah. at the top and then incredibly tapering at yeah. the bottom and she just looks normal. But let's see what, uh, what people thought about that picture. And some more street. of that picture. <laughs> I think she looks absolutely fabulous. I think she could be ten years younger by her figure. I think it's great to see a real woman in a bikini. I mean, she does look amazing. She's showing that you don't have to be a size zero or skinny or be a model to like wear bikinis. That's great. Fantastic. I think it's very refreshing to have uh, this kind of body um, that's there, not surgically enhanced, but just very natural. I think she looks amazing for her age, and I think that she looks her about 40 years of age in it. So she's in her 40s. And I've got friends with bodies in their 30s that are worse than that. It's beautiful. I'd love to look like that, and I'm 
33. If my wife was to look like that, I'd be I'd be excited every morning. I'd love to look like Helen Mirren at 62. I think it's an inspiration to all women of all ages. Obviously, today, 60 is the new 40. Thank you, Helen, for that. <laughs> Good job, Helen. And she's a great actress. Oh. Yeah. You're also saying, weren't you, Larry, specifically you, that you also thought that the um, Meryl Streep in Mamma Mia... Well, I went to see that great. last week, and, and I, again, I, I mean, Meryl Streep has had quite a, a lot of Botox, I would has suggest, she? if looking at her face, which is quite unlined above the eyebrow level. But I thought apart she did for that kind of I, thing. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm she guessing She says she doesn't do surgery. OK, oh, yeah. so, right. But, still, she's a real woman. I don't know how old Meryl Streep is. But the thing about Mamma Mia is a celebration of older women who look real. There's one character who's had a lot of cosmetic surgery who they make fun of. Yeah. But, but Meryl Streep in particular, it's very uplifting to see real older women who are still well, we attractive. Haven't, we haven't seen this film, but we did, we did dig out this clip, and you said, when we watched it in rehearsal, that you felt uplifted by it. Like Helen's bra. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did. You no, said, you said, I how said, how I said I must see this film. Yeah, you said how uplifting. I must yeah. see the film. Yeah, should, let's see it. Right, okay. You're a teaser, you turn a mind. Leave them burning and then you're gone. Looking out for another. Anyone will do. You're in the mood for a day. Tell you something, as a man, there is nothing nicer for, and I mean pleasanter, for a man to see and admire in a woman or women than when they skip. Doesn't matter how old <laughs> they are. But a skipping woman is a sweet sight, and I'll tell you what. This, I'll tell you what. The, Did you much skipping at home without him? I've been doing much skipping lately. Considering <laughs> I've got the most appalling. But it is when you see it. When you see a female <laughs> species skipping, you think, oh. I'm going to try that tonight. <laughs> No, 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 it doesn't make you horny. It works for him. It makes you smile. It makes you heart. One more thing, one more thing. And the second thing, it's a close second, and I really love this, and I heard Chris Evans say this once, and I knew what he meant, is when you're at the lights and you look across and there's a woman sitting behind the wheel of a car singing. It's such a sweet thing to see. Do men not do that? Well, it's not attractive, <laughs> but to see a woman, just sitting at the car wheel at the traffic light singing is a lovely sight. But don't you just like to see us happy? Isn't that one of the key that's, things? Uh, you put if it in we a just ha And I think that's the thing about Helen Mirren. She's at home in her own body. You she finger. feels great about it. it. But isn't and, it great that, know, that you haven't got that whole youth of Joyce, George and Mildred, it's embarrassing <laughs> to have a sexually predatory older woman, yes. you know, older women yes. should sit on their sexual yeah. feelings because yes. how humiliating to fancy anyone when you're older. Yeah. It's brilliant that you can be older, sexy, be fancy, yes. be fancy and balls. on the continent brilliant. all the time. Yeah. Yes. On the continent, women they sit on stop, the beach in yeah. their sort of bikini bottoms and they're in their 70s <laughs> and proud of well, it. I do, I, I, you know, I, I, throughout my 20s and 30s, never wore a bikini at all because I never thought I had a good enough figure. And I suddenly hit 42 years old, thought, you know what, this body is not getting any better. I might as well wear it now. And, that's, and I think that's what that's about with Helen Mirren. Yeah. Why not just wear it? Well, I'm going to wear one and start skipping and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Anything and can happen. And sing. And sing. 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 Loudly, really loudly. <laughs> Okay. Oh all right. right. Thank you very much indeed. Oh dear, Get you are weird, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, why do you, why do we all feel uplifted watching them skip, they were skipping? Skipping? Yes, they're because they're skipping duty. They you, were happy. You, you post feminist you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A new exhibition <laughs> featuring the Reverend Men, skip. Oh, men don't skip, do they? I'm men glad don't they skip. don't. <laughs> <laughs> ladies, women skip, and it's nice. Right. Skip more, ladies of Britain. Skip more. <laughs>